Anytime I train somebody new for apartment maintenance or for this trade or for this uh, industry, I have one piece of advice that I consider to be the most important uh, advice that I can give anybody. And this is the most important skill that I consider that anybody is going to do this kind of work is going to need. <laughs> And many people would think, you know, it, it's HVAC, it's plumbing, it's electrical, it's painting, it's, you know, sheetrock. Those are all really important, but none of those are the most important skill that you're going to need. I believe and I know that the most important skill that you're going to need, it's not even related to the trades. It's more a personality trait, and that's not taking things personal. And and I'll tell you why I think this is the most important thing, and I'll give you some examples of, of how I got to understanding this part of uh this, this skill being so important. See, what happens is when I came to this industry or to this trade, I came from a background of construction like a lot of us did. I had my own businesses and, and different stuff like that that I was always used to when there was a something, uh, some kind of an argument. It was something that, that I did or that I didn't do that something that directly affected me. If it was either my boss or, or a customer or if I had an argument with a, an, somebody on my crew or one of my employees, it was something related to something that I had done or not done. So naturally, anytime there's there's an argument like that, you, you're going to defend your points. You, there's usually a reason or, or you forgot or something happened, but it's 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 it involves you. So we're so used to that. Most most businesses, most trades are, are that that's the way it is. You know, if there's any kind of argument, you have something to do with it and you're going to defend your point. Or, or give an exclamation and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I forgot, or this happened, or, you know, I missed this. But there's always a back and forth going on. Now, when you come over to the apartment maintenance industry, there's something that happens that it's really hard to understand, and, and it takes a while for it to sink in. And that is that you're going to show up to a tenant's apartment, and they're going to be mad at you, and they're expecting that argument, that back and forth. If you fall for that, if you fall for that back and forth, then you, you're going to make this trade. It's going to be really hard for you to manage this trade because you're going to show up. They're going to say, you know what? my my, I can't open the door and nobody got here. And then they're going to start blaming you. And your nature, our nature is to de defend ourselves. You know what? Well, nobody told me. And, and you know what? I got here as soon as I can. And, and then an argument starts going on. And sure enough, the tenant's going to tell you, you know, this is ridiculous and you guys should have been here right away, and I've been paying my rent for eight years. I've never been late. You can call the office, and they'll tell you I've never been late, and I spoke to my lawyer, and you have to do something about it right now. And whatever the issue is, and, and our, our nature is to try and defend ourselves or argue back or say something, and that's where, where you can go wrong. That's where you can make this trade really, really hard on you because you, you're going to want to follow your instinct. And I've learned that if you don't follow your instinct and you say, you know what, sir, ma'am, I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm just here to help you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Um, you know, whatever is at, at my possibility, I'll, I'll take care of it. If not, we'll, we'll figure out a way, you know, what's, what's going to happen here. Usually, if you can dis disarm that argument, it's going to make your life much, much easier. But if you don't realize this and you, you go into it as a, somebody that's going to argue, there's, there's going to be a whole bunch of things that, that are going to come up. And they're going to say, this is ridiculous. They're raising rents. They're not doing anything. And... The last company I used to own this place used to do this. And that last place I used to live that was different. The guys there were excellent maintenance guys. And you're going to hear it. And we all hear it. We hear it every day. But that's only when you fall for it. That's that's if you if you fall into that trap of that argument. And they're, re they're ready. Once they put that work order, that call, they're thinking about everything they got to tell you. And once you walk in there, and it's not everybody. There's a lot of tenants that are really nice people that are, really grateful that you're there, but you're going to find a lot of tenants that are already met. And the thing is, the only reason they'll call a maintenance guy or put a work order for, for maintenance repair, it's because some, something broke down. Something broke down. They need a filter and they, they need it now, or, or it's, it's an issue. They got to, they want to put a complaint. You know, the neighbor's too, too noisy. It's something, there's always something going on. So by the time you get there, they had a lot of time to think, you know, th this is what I'm going to tell them. And I'm going to tell them this, and they need to know all this. And, you know, nobody in the office does anything about it. And I'm going to tell this guy and, and you walk in there and they have a, some tenants have a, a humongous uh, amount of stress. Of course, my phone always got to ring on while I'm doing a video and it'll get to you. I learned that 
people need to need a vent. We've all been there where we call the cell phone company, the credit card company, and something's going on, and the person on the phone, they can't do anything about it, but you still want to vent. You want to tell them, even though you realize it can't do anything. Well, that happens with tenants, too. And I realize that if I don't argue with them, if I tell them, you know, I'm just here to help you, usually it just deflates the whole situation, and, and then they end up apologizing, saying, you know what, I'm sorry. You know, I know it's not your fault. You just... You're just here to help me. But that'll make your life much, much easier if you can control this little aspect of, of being a maintenance. Anything else after that is is easy. And I'll tell you one other thing that, that that's related to that is that when tenants start liking you, like you're not arguing with them, you're not fighting with them, you're, you're going to do whatever you can, it doesn't really matter how good you are. And, and this, is, this is really tricky. It doesn't matter how good you are, they're going to consider you really good. Of course, the office may know different, but tenants... They're going to say, you know what, he came in here, he was really respectful, he he, he did everything he could, and he it's it's good, it's running, and, and they're happy, and, and, you know, it's a good situation. And if you're really good, and you let those tenants get to you, even if you're really skilled at what you're doing, they're still going to say, you know what, I don't want him in my apartment, he's a jerk, and I don't want him in my home, and stuff like that, so... It's, it's going to start closing a lot of doors, a lot of negativity around you, and it's going to make life really, life really hard. So my advice to anybody that's learning this trade or that wants to start in this trade or anybody that's been in this trade and is hating it, don't take things personal. It's not against you. They're just venting. It's, it's not your building. They're not paying you the rent, so you don't really owe them anything. You're just here working. They're going to they're gonna want to make you fight them or, or argue them. And when I say fight, I mean arguing. They're going to want to argue with you because they, they, they just want to vent and they, they need somebody to, to, you know, argue back so that they can get their point across, which realistically it means nothing. And the worst thing is that you finish up this work order and then, you know, your next work order is a clogged toilet and you go there and you hear the same story again. You know, the last company, we never had this issue. The last place I lived that never had this issue. The other crew that was used to be here, they were fantastic. They were the best. I spoke to my uh, uh, attorney, and he's telling me to do this. And, you know, the same stuff. And I've been here 12 years, and I've never paid rent late. And this is ridiculous. Of course, my phone keeps on ringing. So you're going to hear it over and over. If, if you can get that through your mind that it's, it's not personal, they're just venting, it's not against you, it's, it's going to make this trade a lot, lot easier on you guys. Anyways, I hope this helps this video. If you're, if you're thinking about, you know, apartment maintenance, consider this. This is really important, and this will make your life much, much easier. I'll see you guys in the next video.